What's poppin' T-Squad? Today I'm bringing you a makeup tutorial and review on the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Got a little something, something on it, but whatever. Um, I've had this palette since I think about August and I've used it probably about two or three times and I absolutely love it. This is my first time buying the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've used it maybe about two or three times and I absolutely love it. I didn't know what to expect, but it was money well spent. I love Jackie Ina. I actually didn't become a fan of Jackie Ina until this year. I really started noticing and following her YouTube channel and now I just love her. I love everything that she stands for. Gorgeous girl, businesswoman, all of that. Um, this palette, uh, when you open it up it looks like this it has all of these really beautiful shades on the inside it comes with a brush it's a very beautiful palette and she made this palette specifically for women of color so the look that I'm going to do today is actually a tutorial that she put up on her page so I wanted to recreate it and uh, she started off with a blending brush, a crease brush or whatever. I don't know the names of brushes and shit. I just know which ones to use which and where and wherever. So we're going to start off with this type of brush. And first she went in with the shade Pinker right here. It's this really pretty like mauve pinky brown kind of color. So she put this on the outer corner and then brought it into her crease and over into the inner corner of her eye. So I'm gonna zoom in the camera so you can get a good look at what the fuck I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna take some of that pinker, we're gonna put it on the brush. And what I've noticed about these shades is that they go on very smooth, they're very buttery, like velvety shades and they blend well. So we're gonna just place that into the inner corner of our eye and kind of pull it in. I mean the outer corner of our eye and we're going to kind of pull it in words first and you can see this is a very pigmented palette so we're just going to put that in the outer corner and kind of blend it inwards and then we're going to take some more of that shade and then we're going to build it into our crease and bring it all the way into the inner corner of our eye as such and then we're just gonna blend that out hopefully that's coming up good on the camera because these colors are so pigmented and really pretty this is like a really pretty purpley kind of shade so like I said, we're just gonna bring that in and then we're going to just blend, blend, blend and blow those edges out and kind of bring it up a little bit into our brow. Sweep it upwards. So next Jackie took this shade, which is her favorite shade and it's called Wigglies and it's actually one of my favorite shades. This is really pretty orangey metallic -y, shiny shimmery shade and it is just gorgeous and so what she did was she packed that on to her lid so we're gonna take just a really pretty flat brush or whatever the fuck it is we're gonna place that color onto the brush and then we're going to start packing that onto our lid and you see how pretty and bright this color is it is such a really pretty shade this is so pretty and we're just gonna pack that on to our lid yeah it's better without the light so we're gonna pack that on to our lid and kind of bring it up a little bit. We're not gonna bring it that far over. We just want this shade to be on our lid and a little bit into the crease, just a little bit. Not that far up, but far enough.
I need to zoom in so you guys can see this shade even better because this shade is gorgeous. It's a beautiful shade. And you see, even though this is a purple and an orange, who would ever think that purple and orange will go together? But it blends together so well. All right, so the next color that Miss Ina took was this really pretty dark brown shade called Credit. And first she used another crease blending brush, whatever the fuck. And she took some of that shade and she popped it onto the outer corner into a V shape to add some depth Ooh, look at how brown it is and you know it's hard to get a really good brown shade that's gonna show up most brown shades especially as i have you know dark pigmented eyes already always already don't really show up good on me but this one as you can see bitch it pops so well so she kind of brought that into a v shape into the outer corner and then she brought it into the crease just to add a little bit more depth. Now that we have that blended together, Jackie took her pink shade Supreme. This is really pretty pink shade, it's so pretty. And she took a brush that looks similar to this and what she did was she placed a little bit of that pink shade onto her brush and she popped it right here into the inner corner and kind of brought it up a little bit crazy combination but it ended up looking so good together and we're gonna do the same thing over on this eye Now that we have the shadow done, I'm gonna pop on my lashes. I'm gonna put on my foundation and then I'll come back to show you what we're gonna do to our lower lash line and what type of lip I'm going to do. My next tutorial, I'm gonna do a full face to show you how to do my brows, what foundation I use, how I contour, how I color correct, all of that good shit. But today I'm on a time crunch, so we're gonna get this shit moving. All right, you guys, I'm back. So now that I have my foundation and my contouring and my highlight and blush on, we're going to finish our lower lash line. So we're going to take the shades Pinker and, I'm sorry, Pinker and Supreme, and we're going to put that onto our lower lash line. And we're just going to blend that out. Got a little bit of concealer on my lashes. I didn't put on no fucking lashes. Oh, um, well, that's not going to happen today. I totally forgot to put on lashes. I'm so in a rush. Okay, so I'm just going to have to apply some mascara today because I forgot. And we're going to take a little bit of that pinker and apply that as well to the lower lash line. You see how well these colors show up. And the last shade we're going to take is Soleil. It's this really pretty golden shimmery shade. And we're gonna pop that into our inner corner. I think this is the first time I'm using this shade. So I'm gonna pop that right in here. Whoa, that really shows up. It's a really pretty shimmery shade yes soleil all right so since i forgot to put on some lashes where is my mascara i'm going to apply some maybelline great lash this is a staple who's gonna pop on some mascara for our lips I'm going to do my porn star lip. <laughs> Y'all have been requesting me to bring it back. And with my porn star lip, I basically just take a brown um, 
pencil. This is by Jordana. You can get this at the Beauty Supply. It's an easy liner for lips. It's a retract retractable pencil. And this is in the color Coco Loco. And I'm just going to take this color and I'm going to apply that onto my lips. I'm going to line my lips with this really pretty royal shade. I'm gonna take this a little bit above my lip line. Just make my lips look a little bit bigger. I'm gonna bring some of that color down into my lip. And then I'm going to take this lip gloss this is by I think this is by LA Colors and this is the shade yeah this is LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss and this is in the shade Sensual we're gonna pop that in to the center part of our lip gonna pat our lips go and then to finish off our face we're going to spray our face now I use the NYX professional makeup dewy finish finishing spray and voila we are finished this is the finished look I love this look it's so pretty that orange really pops it's just a really cute, really pretty eyeshadow look. I love this Jackie Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It is everything. You must get it. Support your girl Jackie. Like I said, the colors go on so velvety and buttery and they blend together so well. Little to no fallout. It is so worth the money. I love this palette so much. Let me zoom in so you guys can get a really good look of the eyes. This is how the eye look. It looks so good blended together. Those colors blended seamlessly. Yes. Loves it so much. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.